I'm Saba Carter. I'm the CDITO, which is the Chief Data Intelligence Technology Officer for the Financial Services Compensation Scheme. It's, it's a double barrel world, so slightly cheating, continuous learning. Um, I think um, just with tech, the speed it's changing at, the pace it's changing at um, over the last few decades, um, just a ambition to be a lifelong learner has really helped me to keep up pace and, and keep on trend with what's coming up and just enjoy it as well. Uh, well, I wasn't planning to be in technology. I was, I was hoping to be a journalist, but I think um, a natural affinity towards it, um, older brother with lots of technology in the house. And so I think not being frightened of technology um, and sort of as it developed over time, being able to embrace it and adopt it. Um, so I would say uh, there wasn't an intention to be there, uh, but because it's become part of everything we do now, um, just being able to innately use it, which is why I, I'm definitely an advocate that people should just allow the kids to play with technology and not keep them away from it as a result of that too. The one that I'm particularly proud of actually is um, there was a company that we set up in India and in Bangalore and the reason I'm particularly proud to have been involved in and leading the setup of that was it wasn't just about technology, it was about people, it was about growing people. We were, were able to do some really wonderful things around diversity, making sure that we were building diverse leadership teams, that we were thinking about gender, uh, faith, um, different backgrounds uh, to be in the teams, the representation. Um, so it, uh, it was really started to put into practice the things we've been speaking about for a long time and coming from a technology background being able to be involved in a project that had so many different dimensions was incredible uh, and it also meant that uh, across our organization people were working with lots of different people so it's exciting. Uh, well, you'd have to ask my team if it's how I think it is, but I think I've definitely changed over time. I've, I've gone from being more directional to a little bit more coaching, and I think that's natural. To being a CTO, uh, you normally build good teams and let the teams get on with what they need to do. Um, whereas um, when I was a little bit more junior and younger, I would have been more doing things myself directly. As, as a CTO, when you build teams, as I just mentioned earlier, sometimes not everyone fits. And so sometimes you have to decide whether some people will make the cut and stay, whether they need to move into other roles uh, or whether you need to hire fresh completely as well. Um, and so there have been times where you realize that the fit's not quite there and you're actually going to have to um, sort of cut the cord, so to speak. Um, but uh, usually, and it has happened on this particular occasion that I'm thinking of, where instead of the person exiting the organization is trying to realize whether their strengths really align, where you can actually align them to. Uh, and in this particular situation, I'm really glad to say that they did stay and do something different um, and recognize that that wasn't for them. Um, but it doesn't always end up that way. So it is a very difficult conversation when it needs to happen sometimes. Part of that continuous learning that I spoke about uh, in one of the earlier questions, I think it's the mentorship. And we were talking about this earlier, in fact, in one of the groups that um, a few decades ago, certainly when I started, um, you didn't have forums like this and it made it very, very difficult for people to grow, to um, have a trusted network that they could share their experiences with and learn from. So coming somewhere like this regularly and seeing people you know, seeing new faces, talking about topics that you've yourself have been thinking about and sort of working out some gnarly issues around um, it's, it's a great way to learn, uh, but in a creative environment, it's, it's really helpful. <laughs>